Hey guys, this is Manak and you are watching Swill Pro YouTube channel. So uh, in today's video, we'll discuss about ETAPs. So I had already made a lot of videos on Tecla also in my previous organization, but this video is for the people who want to learn ETAPs and are using ETAPs for the first time or as beginners. So uh, in the today's video, we'll just look through the user interface and see how to model a basic building in ETAPs. It's basically very easy. And in the further videos, uh, we will just see how to put on loading and also the standard practices of the IS code. So if you follow this video, you can design according to the uh, design a building according to the provisions of the IS codes. So in today's video, we'll uh, discuss up to the modeling part, basics of the modeling part. So let's get started. First of all, uh, to get started, you will need uh, the working file of ETAP software. So you can just uh, visit their website of computers and structures and you know then uh, you can just ask for a free version of it or you know that will be a valid for 30 days or you can also you know uh, purchase the software or if you are going to just want to learn and if you, are, you have to know what that means you can also you know visit YouTube and type download ETAP. There are various ways in which you can download the software. So, you know, I have ETAPS 2016 with me. Uh, you can easily download it. Just search uh, ETAPS 2016 download. There is a lot of videos in YouTube. Uh, you can download this software. So once you download it, and then you can, uh, you know, start learning from this particular video. So uh, we'll tell you about the process. The process is very simple, but to start with, you need a beam column plan. So we all know about architectural plan where the you know, dimensions of all the rooms and uh, all other things are mentioned. In a beam column plan, basically, uh, all the locations of the beams and columns are mentioned. So in your copy right now, we can just make a rough beam column plan. This one also, you can take a screenshot in a mobile while you are you know doing it in computer. This is a basic beam column plan I have prepared just now, uh, just to make this video. So this basic, uh, according to this basic beam column plan, we'll just make our ETAPS model. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, we'll just go here with file and then we'll go here with new model. So when we click on new model, uh, these are the options. We'll just use built-in options. You can just select the code of your country. I'm going with the Indian code. So we'll just select here, you know, metric SI code Indian. And from this, I'll select IS 800 2007. And from this concrete design, I'll select IS 456 2000. You can select as per your country course. Okay. Just click on OK. And after that, there will be a grid creation. So uh, we'll just create this, you know, as per this particular grid, which we have just made. So we'll just use custom grid spacing, edit grid data. And then uh, what we'll do, we'll just edit this. So in ETABS, this is the X coordinate and it's going to be 3.2, 3 3.3. And this one is along the Y coordinate. So here, uh, just uh, from for A, first coordinate will take 0, 0. So this particular uh, coordinate, this one will take a 0. So as you go further, this will be x positive And as you go upward, this will be y positive. So the next coordinate, x coordinate will be here. It is, the value will be 3.2. So we'll just type 3.2 here. And the next coordinate will be 3.2 plus 3.3. So we don't have to you know calculate this. We can just do directly 3.2 plus 3.3. And the software will do the math for us. Okay, so so this one we can just delete since we only have uh, one, two, three grid lines along the x-axis. So so the zero, three point two, and six point five. And now along the y-axis, let's see. So in the y-axis, we are having here two point one, two point four, two point one. So what we'll do here? First one is zero, the origin. Next one is our two point one. We'll just uh, uh, type here two point one. And the next one, we'll just type here again as 2.4, 2.4, and the next one again as 2.1. So this one also 2.1, we'll just do here. So the grids are made, and if there is any you know difficulty, and you can just see it from here. So what I've done, I've just only this, done this 2.1 and 2.4, so it is showing like this. So what I have to do here, 2.1, plus 2.4 okay and after that what i will do here is 4.5 plus 2.1 so i've done this purposely 
so that you can understand how to check the grid lines. So now I have done the grid lines for X and Y. So next thing is we just click on add or you know okay here. So once you click on okay, the next thing is your story. So you have to under, understand one thing uh, in ETFs uh, when we talk about the story. So suppose uh, this is uh, this is a particular column and this is a foundation. Okay. And uh, the ground floor level, which we are discussing about the ground floor level is suppose this is the ground floor level. So this can be your, uh, you can call this your GL and this particular level uh, which uh, is the bottommost level that is the bottom foundation uh, you can call this as uh, uh, fl or foundation level okay so what the software or the water whatever the usual convention in uh, for civil engineering is the depth of the foundation is taken from here to here and this is taken as for the soil test report obviously but for now let's take this as 1.6 meters okay 1.6 meters so this is the depth of the footing so like this uh, you have to take the depth of the footing so coming back to the e tabs we can just uh, insert number of stories here so suppose we want to make a g plus one building so there will be g one two stories and one more story for your uh, you know this uh, plinth level or the foundation level okay so you can do like this uh, simply we can just use this or you can if you want if you have different uh, you know story height then you can use this custom data so this is easy so i'll just show you the custom data so suppose this is the base uh, this is the you know foundation level and this is the uh, you know plinth level so i'll just uh, give its height of 1.6 meter so you know this so this is 1.6 meter and the remaining height usually for residential buildings we take 10 feet 6 inch which is approximately equals to 3.2 meters Floor to floor distance. So we'll just name this 3.2 meters. So suppose the last story is 2.9 meters. You can just uh, do this also. Okay. Uh, master story. If you can, you can just do one click yes or no. Right now we'll just uh, take no. Then we can you know change it later also. And you can just change this names also. So this is the beauty. You can just name this if you want. You can name this foundation level FL. You can name this plinth level PL. You can name this as ground floor uh, uh, roof and this you can make this as first floor roof and you can make this as uh, you can make this as terrace or you can make this as second floor roof so this is basically uh, you have this foundation of this plinth level then the ground floor first floor second floor so this is basically a g plus two building okay just click on OK and then click on OK again. So, uh, if everything is right, the grid will, uh, you know, be imported in this created and imported in this particular model. And uh, by default, the ETAs will show you the 3D view and the plan view. And you can note here in this uh, uh, project there is a project information and the structure layout. And in the structure layout, you can just click on the stories and you will see here the different levels. You can double click to go on to that particular level here or if this uh, you know doesn't work just click on here and you can just move to the respective grids like this okay using this up and down option you can just move along the grids so i am just going to this particular uh, you know your pl or the plinth level will start everything from the plinth level okay so now first of all what we'll do we'll defer to define the properties of your beams and columns so for defining the properties of the beams and columns we'll go to define and first of all we'll define the concrete so if you're using it up for the first time you have to define the material properties uh, of you know concrete first so just click on add new material and the country suppose in this case we have india and we are using a metal type of concrete here and standard will be indian and the concrete grade suppose i am using m20 which is most commonly used in foundation m25 and other m20 whatever the design specification is we'll see in detail later i am adding m20 concrete and uh, you can just check here the fck or the strength of the composite strength of the concrete so it's okay we'll just click on okay 
and click on OK. So M20 concrete is added. You have to do this only for the first time. In the remaining, uh, you know, times uh, when you create for the models, you don't need to do this. And then we'll go define section properties. Let's define the properties for beams and columns. So here uh, we have this uh, section properties. You go to frame selection sections, and then we have this concrete beam, concrete column, and we'll just select any, you know, one you know property or just click on add new property okay just select on concrete rectangular so suppose i'll i'll just name this uh suppose and name this uh, beam uh one okay i'm doing this for the beam and uh, this thing i'll just select this material as m20 which i have already created earlier and this will do this m20 and uh, after this what is required is a beam section. So, so the beam section, I'll just do this as a 250 into 350 for all the beams. I'll do 250 into 350. You can just make it separate also. And here in the reinforcement, just do one thing. All the things you can change later. Just make sure this is M3 design only for beams. The e bar material will just change later. Cover also, uh, you can, uh, you know, you can change it later also. We'll just keep it as a default. Just do this change M3 design only beam. Just click on OK, and after that, uh, you can just click on OK here. So after that, uh, I'll just add a new property here uh, of the concrete, and uh, the same way we'll do for the concrete column. So you can just I'll just name go ahead and name this as a uh, column one, and uh, here I'll just select M20 grade concrete again as section. Here, let me just go through with 400 into. 400. So this I'm defining as my column sections. So just click on OK here. And uh, after you click on OK, I'm going to select and uh, click on OK. So the what is of columns and beams have been defined. Next, let us define the slab properties. So let's go define again. And we'll just go here. And you can see here the option section properties, slab sections. Just select any or click on add new property. I'll just select slab one, slab two, or I'll just select slab uh, 150 mm, okay? And I'll just go here and 20 grade concrete. And, uh, you know, modeling type, you can, I'll just keep this as a default, only the slab thickness, we'll just change it to 150 and then click on okay. So now these slab properties have been defined. Now we'll just close this. And after closing this, we'll add our columns and beams. So for value on columns, we have this option, as you can see here, so we'll go with the easiest option. We like easy and the shortcuts. So we'll just draw here, you can see a quick draw columns. And uh, you can select columns individually. And before selecting the columns, just make sure you select the property of the columns. So the column which we have created for the columns, column, one you can just go with this and you can just place it selected individual click and uh, paste it or otherwise you can just select uh, make uh, use the left click of an option to make a rectangle and all these columns will be done so once this columns will be done as you can see uh, you can zoom in with the mouse the supports are also created automatically here and uh, uh, you can pan with the help of your if you click on the middle mouse you can use the pan here same uh, in this window so it's very easy so now uh, in the print level let's go for our beams so for the beams also same option you have this quick draw beams now using this quick draw beams i'll just select here type of property and in this property i'll just select here uh, beam one and i can also select this uh, you know like this left click here left click here like this i can select the beams uh, or else i can just do it like this for the beams. So beams are created. And now what do you need to do? You can just copy all these beams to the remaining floor since all the floors are the same, same plan. So for that, we'll just uh, need to go to model here, select the print level and then right click and then select print. Level. So all are selected. You can also do this by going to this and then selecting all this and also do it like this. So after that, we'll go to edit and we'll just click on here, duplicate. So you'll have this option of replicate here and just 
click on the story. So all the stories in which you want to copy this particular uh, you know beam plan, just uh, select the stories, press control and select all the stories in which you want this to copy. Just uh, click on, uh, you can just click on your OK. And you can see the beams have been copied to all the stories. So now you can move up to the next level that is your you know ground floor roof and what you know you can provide the slabs so you can just see here the option of quick draw floor select this and select our slab which you have defined you have we have defined here you know a particular slab that is slab 150 but while defining we had gone to define we're going to your section properties and the slab sections we had not clicked on ok so that's why it was not saved so remember that I'm just uh, i'll just clear the slab section once again so let's lie in slab 150 mm and then i'm selecting m20 concrete and then 150 okay and then click on okay so now you can see i can select this slab quick you know slab once again and go to the property and then you will have find this slab 150 so remember you have to click on okay and not cancel if you want to have the property retained. Okay, that's the correction. Just select slab 150 mm and then you can select it. So as you can see, the slab has been created here. But if you want it in all the levels, you can do another thing. Just press Ctrl plus Z to you know remove the slab. And after that, you can just select here, you know, all stories. So what happens here, if you click, uh, click this, it gets copied into all the stories. So, but we don't want that also. We don't want in the plinth level. Because we don't want this in the plinth level. So you can just have this option of similar stories. So we can just this similar stories. Uh, but for then, uh, what you what you want is you just want to go to edit, and uh, you can just go to this option of edit stories and grid systems, and uh, you can do this modify. You know, say in this data, and uh, you can just uh, go to ground floor and make this your master story okay and make this this similar to ground floor roof and this also similar to ground floor roof and then click on okay and then click on your okay so after that uh, when you just select the slab and you have the similar story turned on what happens is this slab gets you know copied in the remaining flows so what have you done now right now is you have made an ETAVS model and in this ETAVS model you have completed the modeling part so for revision quick revision i'm going to you know uh, ask you to write down all the steps so that you guys also remember all the steps uh, properly okay so the first step which is going to be your grid creation okay so we are doing grid creation. And after the grids are created, and then what we do is here, we make the properties, okay? So material properties, we do this material properties you have to define for the first time. Slash, you can just write section properties so section of both beams columns and your slab you can write that in bracket also i'm just writing in shortcut and in the third point after you have define all the properties and then what you do is assign section properties so this is the three simple steps to put it in a you know very uh, in a short view of what we do if we are modeling in ETAPS. So in further videos, we'll go through and and the second part that is, we'll go through how to assign the loads in this particular model as per the standard IS codes. So stay with us. If you like our effort, you can just drop the like button and also share it with your friends and also subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching this video. This is Maynard signing off. Bye-bye.